This occurred approximately two weeks after I purchased my first home in December of 2010. I was 22 years old at the time, and this was my first time living alone. I got a puppy that my sister and mother had seen at the local shelter about 9 or 10 days after moving in. A breeding male cocker who has been abused. His hair was matted down his spine and everywhere else. He was 12 pounds underweight and he was wormy. He was given the name Jack, and he's still sleeping next to me as I write this. The house I bought wasn't in the greatest part of town, but it did back up to a place ground and had cameras pointed at my backyard. My office was closed and I was at home because it was a day or two before Christmas. My house had a window to the right of the fridge that looked out to my front porch. With my front door at a 90 degree angle from the window, this was the location of my kitchen table. A second living room and side entrance with a half window could be found if you looked left from the middle of the kitchen. It was the only window on which I didn't have blinds. From the side door, you couldn't see the kitchen table. So I'm sitting at the table reading mail or something when a a shadow sweeps over my papers in front of me. The blinds were closed, yet if you were standing in the front porch, your body cast a shadow on the window. I'm not sure why, but I was uneasy. There was no need for anyone to be there. So I slid down from my stool to the ground and peered through the break in the blinds. On my porch, there were two males I didn't recognize. One was quite large, dressed in a white shirt and jeans, but his face was hidden behind my front door, so I never saw him. The other was dressed in a baggy red shirt and a red baseball cap. To be honest, I thought they could have a legitimate purpose to be there at first. I'd already had a call from a man searching for his dog. Fucking go around, man. I hear the huge one yell. I lose sight of the red-shirted man as he goes away. As I turn to my left, I noticed a red shirt approaching my side door. All right, for the first time in my life, I'm afraid of this. Then they both start banging their hands into both my front and side doors at the same time. My tiny little apartment was trembling from the beating. That's when this nice little underweight cocker spaniel, who I'd only owned for a week, loses his mind. Because he can see the guy, he starts snarling his teeth and dashes straight for the side door. This is the most obnoxious barking I've ever heard from him. Shouts the red shirt, oh my god, she's got a fucking dog, and ran away. Following close after is a large man. I owe Jack a huge debt of gratitude. Those guys would have gotten in if he hadn't have been there. It was a small old house erected in 1955 with single pane windows. I reported the individuals to police, but I never heard anything about them. That was fine because as far as I knew, they never returned. After five years, I moved away. That day, Jack saved me from a difficult situation. Since then, he's been nurtured like a prince. He is without a doubt the gentlest dog anyone has ever encountered. Even challenges the stereotype of Cocker Spaniels being uninterested in children's thoughts. But I think he's always known I'm his person and no one was going to mess with him. Story time about how my ex broke into my apartment and trashed my entire apartment and ruined every single thing that I owned. I'm not gonna lie, my relationship with my ex is terribly toxic. We actually met each other on a dating app, I know. He was absolutely charming on the first date. Second date, not so much. And third date, he was absolutely awful. But I just started falling in love with him, like literally from the moment I met him. I had it in my head that I was gonna make him a good boyfriend, like me. <laughs> I seriously honestly thought that he would change and just become a better guy. He quickly wanted to be exclusive but did not want to call me his girlfriend. Oh, and he would get jealous about every little single thing. If I wanted to go out with friends, he would get upset. If I didn't answer my phone or text him right away, he would get upset. Mind you, this whole time, he doesn't want to call me his girlfriend. I work as a stylist but I also model on the side just for some money. Well, he hated this. A week into dating or whatever we were, he told me that I needed to quit modeling. If I didn't quit modeling, that meant that I was for the streets. Cause, you know, now, all models are for the streets. Like the idiot I am, I started passing up on jobs. I even passed up on a Sephora campaign. My modeling agency was really upset. But in my mind, I thought, you know, if I do what he wants, he'll be a good boyfriend. And maybe we can call each other boyfriend and girlfriend. My mom kept insisting that she wanted to meet him, but he said no. Now, when he told me that he didn't want to meet my mom, trust me, I put my foot down. I told him there was absolutely no way I could be in a relationship with anybody who did not want to meet my family. He told me that I was taking things way too seriously. That's when I threw it in his face that he acts like a jealous boyfriend, but still doesn't want to call me his girlfriend. Friend. So he explained to me that any girl he talks to has to be only for him. And even if he's not dating you, you still have to be only for him. Ugh. Then he told me that he was dating two other girls. I had a suspicion, but I never thought he would actually admit it to me. I told him that we needed a break and that I didn't want to see him for a few weeks. This made him insanely jealous. He told me that I was a liar and that I was probably hooking up with someone else the whole time I was with him. And yes, I did try to convince him that I wasn't, but he was not having it. I just moved into my new apartment, which I absolutely love. Spent over $3,000 decorating it. I even got CB2 furniture. I made the mistake of giving him a key a few weeks ago. One day I come home from a modeling job and my apartment is completely trashed.
I walk into my apartment to find it trashed. At first I thought I had been robbed, but that's when it hit me. It was my ex. The walls of my apartment were smeared with chocolate. There was literally broken glass in the entryway, so I could have stepped in glass. All the mirrors were shattered and broken. My television was on the floor, completely smashed, and there was a hammer right next to my TV. This man took a hammer and smashed my television. He did the same thing to my expensive Vitamix blender. All of my makeup was in the toilet. And yes, there was poo in the toilet too. The sink was full of kitchen condiments where he put all of my expensive perfumes. The bathroom mirror was also smashed. My expensive ass CB2 couch was full of mustard and honey. All of my couch cushions had olive oil on them. I mean, the list goes on and on. I pulled out my phone and started taking picture and video. I called the police and my parents and my parents came right away. Of course, I called my ex and told him that I knew it was him and he denied everything. He said, and I quote, you're crazy and then hung up the cop that came to my apartment was super rude he said that i must have done something really bad in order to deserve this kind of punishment i filed a police report and they told me that i could sue him so far he does not want to pay a single dime he then admitted to me through text messages that he got the idea from a tiktok video and that some other guy had done this to his ex so far i spent 500 dollars just in cleaning services to clean my apartment i'm living back with my parents luckily a judge made him pay me five thousand dollars still not enough he's been calling me and begging me to get back with him what do I freaking do. I have a girlfriend, 27 female, but Amber's single and always has casual sex with guys she meets on her trips. Our routine is that after we end our work for the day, we go to a bar or something like that so she can find some men. She likes me being there to protect her when she is hunting, but there has never been a problem that required me to intervene. Until one of the men she had sex with the night before that I was her husband or boyfriend and she didn't correct him. She liked the idea of the men she was doing thinking I was her husband and wanted to do more of that. I didn't say anything because I thought she was joking. That night when a waitress came to us to take our order at the bar, she referred to me as her husband. I was shocked but didn't say anything. Later, she left with a man and I saw the waitress looking at me and smiling. The next day, I told Amber to never do that again because I have a girlfriend. But she said that she already asked my girlfriend about this and that she said it was okay. I told her that she still shouldn't do it and she told me I was being crazy and we argued some more. I'm an asshole for calling out my mother-in-law for babying her grown son. My mother-in-law has babied her son for as long as I've known them. She has treated him like a child and he's a 32-year-old man. My husband was sick and had to take off work and while I was at work, she would come into our house and take care of him. I was never notified about this until I came home from work and she was there. She's always telling me how I'm a bad wife and that I need to cater her to her son's every need. I've told my husband that it's very odd that his mom treats him like that and I've also overheard her telling him that he should leave me and come back to live with her, since I'm such a terrible wife. She's always getting in my face about how I should change and how I can be more like her. She thinks I'm not enough for him, and my husband does nothing about it. He even agrees with her sometimes. When I came home, I asked her what she was doing, and she told me treating her son how he deserves to be treated, and that she's doing the things that I will not do. That was my last straw, and I blew up on her. My husband took her side, and they both told me I was out of line. So, am I the asshole? Story time about how my blind date robbed my apartment. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. It was sent to me on Instagram. Recently broke up with my ex who was really abusive. I was so depressed after the breakup. Even worse, my ex got back with his ex-girlfriend right after we broke up. And to top it all off, he started posting her right away and announced their engagement. I decided I wouldn't let the depression get to me. Signed up to some dating apps and started going on dates. My first date was okay. The guy was pretty shy and quiet, but he was trying to rush things if you know what I mean and I was not having that. My second date was okay. The only problem was that his breath smelled really bad and I just couldn't get past that. Then I went on to the third date. This one was different though. One of my co-workers mentioned a guy that she knew who was single. She showed him my Instagram and he fell in love, according to my co-worker. The only problem was he didn't have any pictures on his Instagram so I couldn't tell what he looked like. My friend described him though and she made him sound really attractive. We meet up for a dinner date at a really nice restaurant and yep, he was super attractive. He literally looked like a male model. I felt totally out of my league but I thought, whatever, just go for it. We talked for two hours and had a great time. At the end of the date, he offered to drop me off back at my place so that I wouldn't have to take an Uber. I agreed and when we got to my place, I invited him in. Biggest mistake of my life. Oh, I forgot to mention, I earn a pretty good living. So I have a nice apartment and nice things. When he came into my apartment, he kept talking about how pretty everything was. He kept saying things like, wow, that must have been really expensive. He even asked me how much I paid for my rug. Went to the bathroom and left him alone. When I came out, he said he had to leave. Basically ran away. After my date ran out of my apartment, I got a really bad feeling. I decided to send him a message and ask him if he was okay. Then he gave me a really weak excuse. He said he needed to go home to get some work done. I knew that he was totally lying. Fortunately, I didn't check my apartment to see if anything was gone. Instead, I went to the gym, got home, and went straight to bed. Texted my coworker, letting her know how the date went. 
When I told her it was weird the way he ran away from my house, she told me that she had heard he kind of had some weird behavior in the past, and I asked her what kind of weird behavior. That's when she told me she knew his ex, and that she had accused him of being a con man. I had to laugh it off because I just couldn't believe that I knew someone who was like that. I went to sleep and unfortunately I sleep with earplugs so I can't hear what's going on. I also use a sleep mask over my eyes so I can't see if there's any light. By the way, I do live by myself. I wake up the next morning, open my bedroom door, only to see that my stuff is gone. My television was gone, my laptop, my vacuum, even my kitchen appliances like my blender and a toaster. I ran to my purse and my wallet was also gone. I had a beautiful Cartier watch on my dining table, that was gone too. And weirdly enough, so was my rug. I instantly knew that it had to be him. Ran over to the front door of my apartment and I noticed that my backup keys were gone. I had them hanging on a hook by the door the night before and I hadn't noticed that it was gone after he left. No wonder he ran out of my apartment. I called the police and they arrived within a few minutes. As soon as I realized I had been robbed, I called the cops, came over and checked everything. I told them the backup keys from my apartment were missing and that I knew who had taken them. I gave them all the information that I knew about my blind date. That's when it dawned on me that I had the ring doorbell. I got all the footage from my phone and I showed it to them. And there it was, plain as day. The same guy I had gone on a date with the night before was on my ring doorbell stealing all of my stuff. He didn't even bother to change his clothes. The video shows him using my key that he stole from my apartment to open my door at 3 a.m. It only took him 15 minutes to steal everything he wanted. The scariest part though was that we saw him walk over to my bedroom door. It was like he was debating whether or not to open my door. And if you're wondering if anyone else saw him, no, my apartment is pretty secluded. My front door leads to the street, so he had easy access and a quick way to get out. I tell my coworker everything and she begins to cry and apologizes for having introduced me to him. She said that she had no idea. The cops even went and questioned her about it. They thought they might have both been in on it, but I never thought that. Four days after the robbery, the cops come back to my house. That's when they told me he had a really shady history. He had been in jail several times for robbery and a bunch of other things. His ex even reached out to me. She told me he stole all of her things and her money and that he had been stalking her for weeks. They finally arrested him but let him out on bail. It's crazy to me that this guy is still on the street. I'm debating whether or not to move to a different apartment. I'm so scared of this guy. What do you guys think I should do? I'm so afraid. Am I the asshole for getting mad at my wife because she caused me to fail an important interview? I, 27 male, and my wife, 24 female, have been married for three years. She is six months pregnant. I've been looking for a job with a better pay since my wife said she wanted to be a stay-at-home mom after the birth. Today, I had this interview for a position at a very good IT company, which would be paying triple my current salary. There were a lot of measures taken to prevent malpractice. I was not allowed to look anywhere but the screen, and the test was conducted on an online platform. I told my wife numerous times before the exam about how strict it was. Just 15 minutes after my test started, my wife started knocking on my study door and calling out my name, asking me to open a jar. I ignored her. I ignored her because I'd be disqualified from the interview if I looked anywhere else or spoke. Figured she'd get the hint that I couldn't talk, but she didn't. She yelled at me, calling me an asshole, and went on to talk to her friends on call. It didn't stop at the calls. She played loud music for her online dance yoga class. It was extremely distracting, and I made a lot of mistakes in the exam. I got the results immediately, and as I suspected, I failed. This was the fifth interview my wife ruined like this. I told her to start working again after the birth, and I'm okay with paying for a nanny or sitter. Am I the asshole for not cooking for my husband until he talks to me? Would that be unethical? My husband and I have not been communicating. Less than a month after getting married, he no longer sleeps in the bed with me and spends all his time in his room, which was initially a guest bedroom. I only see him at meal times. When I ask why, he doesn't give me a real answer and his answers are just because I just want to, I don't know. I'm desperate to have a real conversation and one idea I have is to stop cooking for him until he asks me to talk. But I worry about his health if I stop cooking. He's lazy and there's no way he cooked for himself. I do give him an allowance because he's unemployed to buy ready meals, but he has never once been willing to go to the store. So I'm scared he won't eat at all. I'm an asshole for leaving my girlfriend at a gas station. My girlfriend and I have been together for a couple years now and our relationship has been rocky to say the least. Recently, we were in the car fighting about a guy friend that she is friends with. Personally, I do not trust the guy because I can tell he likes her and she seems to have a soft spot for him as well. I asked her to stop talking to him a couple of times and she said that they're just friends and that she does not like him. I asked if he liked her and she said yeah but nothing will ever happen. This man has tried to make moves on her in front of me and does not respect her relationship at all. I'm tired of asking her to stop and she obviously does not care. When we were fighting and driving things got really heated. I had to stop for gas and she was screaming at me. I got fed up and embarrassed and while she went to the bathroom I left her there. I put her phone by the pump and left. I get a call from her a couple of minutes later saying how evil I am and she's screaming at me. 
and that I obviously do not give a crap about her. It's broad daylight, so it's not like she was alone at night. Her guy friend picks her up and started texting me saying that I'm the asshole. And if I'm not careful, my girlfriend will realize her worth and leave me for him.